Many programs help children who come to school hungry, such as free and reduced meals. But what happens when the children go home for the weekend with nothing to eat? 13 News reporter Alex Wilkins tells us how a group of students, a student group rather, in Ashland Independent School District is now hoping to change that. Within Ashland Independent Schools, more than 300 students qualify as homeless and even more need free or reduced lunches. We know that hunger impacts student learning. Um, if a child comes to school hungry, it's going to impair their ability to learn and succeed. So we know that this is a huge need um, in our community. There are programs to help feed students during the school week, but Ashland High School's student senators noticed a gap, especially for middle and high school students. During the school day, they can come to school and receive free breakfast and free lunch. But on the weekends and during breaks, they don't have that opportunity. So the group came up with an idea to bring food to the students, applied for a community challenge grant, and just won $10,000 to make it happen. They're planning on renovating this box truck, which the school district already owns, so that they can deliver snack bags to the students on weekends. We thought it'd be a great idea to take that box truck, flip it, turn it into a full service food truck. That way we can serve food on site, prepare it on site. We're going to wrap the truck with an art design made by our art students. We're going to install a concession window and an awning uh, to provide added security for those serving the food. And then we're going to rip out the carpet, um, install a kitchen. Not only do they plan to bring hungry students some meals on wheels, they hope when people see the food truck around Ashland, it helps open their eyes to the issue. I feel like a lot of people aren't fully aware of the situation and how there are so many like hungry and homeless kids each day. So I think that this project is really going to bring awareness to that fact. In Ashland, I'm Alex Wilkins, 13 News, working for you.